Hey everybody, been saving up enough of these mission tokens here. It's finally time to see what these look like. Well, here we go. First, Lapa Symphonic. And now we'll do CX9 Grid Runner. Finally, here we go. AK-117 Territorial. So here's our Lapa Symphonic on a loadout. I also had Police Turbo Protector from like a year or so ago, I guess. But I want to use this opportunity to start something, a new type of video that I've been wanting to do. That's like gunsmiths for beginners here. So. My first recommendation, since we just unlocked a camo for it, is the LAPA, L-A-P-A. And this is my gunsmith that I'm recommending for beginners. Let me talk about why. First of all, it's always important to have sound suppression. That'll help, uh, that'll make it harder for other players to hear your gunshots, so they won't necessarily know where you are. Also, this attachment has all upsides and no downsides, so that's a no-brainer. Um, next thing, sight. Um, I remember when I was first playing the game that that was always a big help to put on a classic red dot sight just for aiming. It will also help you play or hit shots from farther away too. Then um, ammunition is another important attachment to put on a lot of weapons. This one increases the capacity of the ammo and really increases the reload time. So you'll be able to fire a reload real quick and go right back to firing again. That's a great benefit. Um, then we've got another attachment with all upside, and that is this BD or BO. I can't really tell. BO foregrip. Um, so it reduces the recoil. Horizontal recoil is the hardest recoil to control in the game. Vertical recoil is a lot easier to control. Um, random, don't even get me started on that. You don't want to mess with that. Um, but reducing the horizontal recoil is always going to make it easier for you to hit your shots. And then finally, I've got a hip fire laser on here. Um, because when people are up close, you don't want to aim down your sights, you want to hip fire them. So this is going to give you a really good hip fire bullet spread. If we look at the stats here, the most important stat I think for beginners is actually the recoil. So you look at the recoil and it's pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't move too much at initially. Um, and then when it does, it just goes up and then slightly to the right. And we even reduce that with the um, foregrip attachment. So the ADS bullet spread is not so great, but this is an SMG. So as so you could look at the ranges there, we're not going to be doing much damage outside of 30 meters, probably not even outside 20 meters, but the hip fire is 120 and that's awesome. You should be able to get some good hip fire kills, maybe within five meters, maybe even 10, you never know. Um, so this is my gunsmith, Lapa gunsmith for beginners. This is one of the guns that I would recommend a beginner to use. But since we unlocked the camo, let's go inspect this. So I've got the gold camo in here because I think it looks cooler. You can see that word music through there. Um, let me show you the recoil because that's that important stat I was telling you about for beginners. See, it does not move around too much. It's mostly vertical and that's what you're looking for. Also, if you're curious, uh, the base iron sights on here are horrible. But they are custom colored. You get that nice blue there, but it blocks so much of your side-to-side -side vision. So I'm going to put that back on. All right, we got crossfire for a team deathmatch, actually. Usually I feel like we get this for frontline. But lay down here, see if we Changing can get any quick Cover. hits with our Lapa. But I'm planning to stay inside buildings. Um, that's usually what you want to do with SMGs. And that's where you're going to be able to get hip fire kills, too, inside these close buildings, close range. Um... That would be playing to an SMG strength, especially this Lapa. There are some SMGs that can play long range, um, but the Lapa's not really one of those. Oh, come on. See, even like that is a little bit farther than I want to play. But, oh, I ran out of shots there. Okay. I was hoping I could get that with hip fire, but I saw somebody over here in the UAV get you. was not aware at all of my presence, so that was an easy kill. Oh, hello. There's where the hip fire comes in handy. That was a pretty quick hip fire kill, I feel like. 
at least, you know, once I noticed him, I was able to move around him in a semicircle while I was still accurately firing at him. Get so that hip fire laser comes in handy. Look at that hip fire that guy. And that was a three on one. So I'm happy I just took out two of them. But that hip fire range is pretty awesome. It's a nice benefit. Okay, I probably could have hit fired that too, but I was not expecting someone to run up on me. I was going for that guy that was farther away, and that might have been him. Might have ambushed me there. But there's still someone in this building, or maybe they just left. But I saw them on the UAV ping. We've taken the lead. Maybe they're kind of circling around the building, following me. I thought somebody might have been in here. Okay. But normally at frontline matches, you can't even run across that bridge because it's so tightly packed with people. Someone's always watching it. But this is a team deathmatch, so people show up in sort of semi-random locations. So there might be someone behind me, but I'm going to go try to head this guy off. Come on, where'd you go? There's the hip fire. I thought maybe I could do a quick reload turnaround, but there were three other guys back there in the building. It's like I keep getting teamed up on in this one. I believe oh yes nice i believe this is the first match i'm playing with my new camo that i unlocked for the purifier too so maybe but on the topic of pip firing again can you can you get up here i thought there was a way to get up here oh well um i probably i might have been able to take that sniper out with hip fire but he was mostly covered so it was better to ads there so here's my new purifier there we go double kill there we got the shock RC already. So, it's like I keep getting like two or three kills and then dying, but that's a good trade off. That's still a good KD ratio. So, let's see where you take me. Hip fire him. Yes! Look at that hip fire kill. Oh, I probably should have hip fired that guy too, but honestly, I didn't know he was there. I was expecting to see someone farther out. It's challenging to like once you're firing to move out of switch out of hip fire. At least my tendency is always to stay aiming down the sights, and that's not always the best. I hear somebody. There you are. Oh, let's see if we can take this guy out by the Goliath. Oh no, and that was probably outside my range too. The lap is not a super fast fire firing weapon and there are barrels you can use to increase the fire rate and that's something else you could mess around with if you're you know once you start to get used to it um but yeah doing those 20s is not to the lap of strength look at that double hip fire kill never stand directly next to your teammate oh i thought i could finish off the goliath but and that guy with the m4 keeps finding me our match is almost done here, and we still have Enemy a lead. Oh, good thing I dodged that. Maybe let's heal up here and go back and find this guy. Yes! Good thing he had prior damage. I only needed to get one hit on him. We got a dog coming. I'm going to back up a little bit. Or, oh, somebody's up here. There you are. Can I get you? Man, how did some of those shots not hit? That's the downside of the EDS bullet spread being higher, like I said, normally in the teens is pretty good, but this one was at 23, so wasn't meant to play that kind of long range, so. But we got the last kill. That's awesome. Oh! I got MVP as well. I'll take it. The Lapa here on our first Guns for Beginners video. That's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, double kill with the purifier, that's a good highlight. Let's see what else they picked. Get down, sniper. Oh, yeah, the, oh, double kill with the hip fire, nice. Okay, 73, 17 and 9, not bad. Big impact there too. So, that's the Lapa for you. Um, if you think I got something wrong and you have a better gunsmith on here for people who are just starting out, please let me know. Be happy to try it. Otherwise, I think this is a pretty versatile one for close range Lapa SMG play. Thanks for watching, everybody.